let's all of us apply to be the voice for audiobooks I love and it. like document this for the podcast. So you can become an audible book. Yeah. Why love not? It. I it might love turn it. into something really good. That's so cool. That beats my pitch. I was going to pitch that we all ourselves uh, and live stream it. Young Junk! Ready, three, two, one, go. Podcast, go. Podcast is on. Hi. Hi, future Luke. One of the 27 <laughs> views. Hi, future Luke. Watching. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, so we were just talking about uh, Zach doesn't doesn't like contemporary slang, but you you do like slang. OK, so the yeah. problem with that is you there was problems. a guy like you at the time when, you know, it's raining cats and dogs was said. And he's like, what? Why, fuck that. Like, I hate that. I hate that term. Mm-hmm. It's just it's raining very hard. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There's a guy like you then. Right. Mm-hmm. So. All right. So my question, the way it relates is, you know, because I'm somebody who I have a conflicted, you know, um, appreciation appreciation for AI. Okay. So my question is, I was just thinking about it this morning, contemplating, standing while it was raining with an umbrella over and just watching the rain, smelling the dew. Okay. (laughs) You think you think if certain people that uh, don't want to live in a world with AI, if they decided to create their own community without any AI, are they going to be like the Amish of the future? Like if they decided like, no, it was Dune. Watch Dune. That's literally Dune. How I've seen Dune. Not, yeah, not the new AI? one. Are there any computers? No. Oh, the people on the on that planet. That's not the same you're, though. Like, no, no, no. I'm you're talking saying, the, the whole galaxy. The, there's no computers or people, AI. People who don't adapt to AI are going to be like the Amish that don't adapt to electricity. Today. Any technology, right? And they decide, like, you know, yeah. That's what I. That was my thought this morning. Well, I, it's a pretty boring thought. Do you, or I guess the next. better question is, yeah, next. Okay, I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> I thought it would be a nice conversation to have. Uh, uh, yes, but be like the Amish. Moving on. Or do you think? Do you think that people might eventually? Could you picture that? Could you picture people creating a community like the Amish? You well, know, I but can they just imagine almost anything. So can yeah, I? Okay. So then I... you could get into the multiversal shit because I could too. That's why I like watching fantasy no. sci-fi. Like, well, I'm I'm saying I can see it with with AI. Like, it, if you can, so if, maybe actually, point, okay, so okay, better question now. Thank you guys, because now it is turning into something good. Mm-hmm. Should one of us write a movie pitch about this idea? So, say it's thirty years in the future, and there has been a community that started like this year, 2024 or 2025. And, you know, it was just a group of people that were just, you know, turned off by AI and they, their parents or something, you know, like think worried about their kids Um, and thinking that they're going to, they're going to lose their humanity. They're going to grow up without an identity, you know what I mean? Of what it means to be a human and they end up, I don't know how you would do it nowadays, you know, like what would like the way the Amish did it, you know, like how would you do it nowadays? You know, like you'd have to have somebody really rich that like buys a community and he becomes like a cult leader and it's just like uh, no AI, but they still have all the technology that, you know, was before AI. You still got the Internet, you still got Bluetooth, you still got all the amenities, all that shit. But mm-hmm. you just, that, I mean, that's, you're just that's choosing so not imagined. to use it. You're, you're talking choosing about choosing not. Yes, you're choosing not to use AI. So, like, you okay. could even start it, start the movie thirty years in the future, right. showing that, and then you could like fast forward and be like, oh well, like AI decides that, you know, the people that 
you know, chose to accept AI and adapt, you know, they're like the, they're safe. You know, why would like, they be the Amish though? Cause like before AI is like 15 years ago, if that's all yeah, you're changing, well, like, come on, why, why would I, why would I say the Amish? Because that's, I'm saying just, why are you stoning us back to the dark ages without AI? We were doing the well, dark ages. I guess, I guess the question <laughs> is fine how, without AI. AI, AI, AI you just say, why are you stoning why? us? Here's, I'm going to answer it real quick. Cause I know Luke wants to chime in. I'm going to answer it real quick, and then let's let Luke go. Because AI, AI, AI is advancing exponentially. You know, in three years, less than that, in a year, in two years, AI is going to be a huge part of everything that we do. Mm-hmm. Huge. Maybe people are going to lose yeah, jobs. Well, There's no I'll maybe. It is. is. Is AI going to like if you don't choose AI, how quickly will you be left in the dust in thirty years? Like how how 30? much in three years? Oh, you're toast, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, right that's now, how fast I mean, it's moving. Uh, it, yeah, and yeah. everything's changing right now. I mean, any sort of task that can be delegated and automated without like choice, that's over. It's just done, dude. You know, and it's going to be so exponentially only, fast. It's going to be amazing. Only reason, so I so. There's I, robots you know, in our was, grocery stores. That yeah. What? And now Zach the, and now where in, Zach, Zach is in, in LA, LA, there's a there's a robot that delivers food you're, and drinks to you're people. You're watching the John Mulaney show, aren't you? Well, Zach told Zach told us that on the podcast before, and then I yes, I watched the John Mulaney show. I'm watching it too. I'm gonna <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, I don't know what really Let's sparked this that. thought this morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. John Mulaney, John Mulaney. Mulaney. Let's, Mulaney. Let's not. No, right, no, so, no, no. We're deciding to be new Amish and we're we're <laughs> rejecting AI and, and we're gonna I, no, build not, furniture and pretzels will be yeah. our new business. Yeah, have you ever had an Amish yeah. pretzel? My god. They're saying we're gonna go Amazing. full circle and only skilled laborers will be people of value in the community. Carpenters, cheese makers. Is that what you're saying? That's what I think you're saying. Why, why was cheesemakers after carpenters? Well, People in the cheese. order of things you need, first you need a table and to put your you cheese on, on <laughs> and then something to eat Jesus, off the table. Jesus was a carpenter. Which one of his? Jesus should have been a cheesemaker cheese is what Zach's saying. John the Baptist. Ba- Jesus the missed his cheese. calling. <laughs> there was G- there yeah. was Jesus and then there was Jesus. Yeah. There was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That's Jesus what the movie should be. Let's write that movie. Fuck AI. I'm so bored. Jesus. Yeah. Let's write Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. You know, Wait a minute. You know Jesus Christ. crust would be a Jesus great Christ. pizza. Let me get a Jesus crust. Do you know what pairs really <laughs> on my on right? my Jeez. Holy Spirit pizza? That's a bit, right? Jesus crust, so you can get stuffed crust. It's um there's what a Dane Cook movie called I think Good Luck Chuck, and there's a Christian pizza place. I've yeah, seen. Jessica Alba. It's either no, no, no. It's not that one. It's the other one. It's the one with Jason Biggs, uh, where he plays a character named Tank. Which I'm like, come on. Um, oh, how how good is this movie? Kate Hudson's in it. <laughs> uh, Kate Hudson's in Kate it. Hudson? And he's oh, like, he smokes my cigarettes. Best girl? My best friend's girl. Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna pro- we're not gonna promote a fucking Dane Cook movie. Yeah, because he gets uh, hired to. Oh, we are. This is the new business. <laughs> Because in the Amish Wait. world, we only see Dane Cook shows. So okay, we've got three take... movies and a VCR, you... and that's it. The, oh, so it, be- before the, we have a VCR, before we before we decide if I should go with two more questions or one, <laughs> does anyone have besides Luke? Does anyone have any prepared shit for this episode? I, I got a pitch. Because I got a full clip. So let me, all right. So let me go with something fun then. I, I'm going to skip my other questions. We'll save them for the next episode. No, go um, ahead. We're fine. All right. So th- this, this is something, this is something that I, it runs through my mind five to 10 times a day, just walking around my house. All right. So, like, you guys ever heard of the movie Toy Story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Toy Store so, or Toy Story? Toy, Toy Story. Toy Story. So, okay. so Toy similar to Toy Story, Story um, 
let's try to humanize different inanimate items in our house. We're going to come up with a name and a voice. So, for example, um, let's say, like, you know, anything. Like, I have a bunch listed. The books that you never read, your air fryer, toaster, and microwave right next to each other. What conversations do they have with each other? All the items in your drunk drawer, your guitar. Oh, Does it want you? What's a drunk drawer? A, ju- a junk, dr- junk drawer. There's a, there can be a drunk drawer. Too. There should be a drunk drawer. Yeah. yeah. Like open um, in case of drunk. There's like a pizza in there. And, oh, it's good. Uh, okay. So, so does anyone want to? Does anyone want to pick one? And I, I also have your welcome mat. I have. Uh, I said the books that you never read. I have. Yeah. What's the, know, the movie well, about the magic little toaster? The brave little toaster. You oh, were so was, close. <laughs> that was all. That was all. That was this close to being. Hey, what's that movie called about the brave little toaster? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was magical too. I wasn't wrong. He's pretty fucking magical. It's called I, Wally. Uh, he just came to life and went on adventure. Yeah, it's called Wally. Yeah, That's what I. Yeah. Wally's a I, robot. But, but Wally, Wally couldn't talk. You love AI, dude. You love AI so much. God, you're such a slut for AI. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, I do. I, AI. I love AI. How long? So Wait, let me ask you. We a got a question. statue of him now. Let me ask you a question. Uh, a tiny little, tiny little guy. Mm-hmm. Mr. Questions. Um, Wait, how, is, is no one going to go with the inanimate objects in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No characters. Yeah, well, I'm well. going to go down that road. I want to be a basketball and a bounce and a bounce and a bounce and a talk like this, but I never catch my breath because I'm always bouncing on the basketball. And you <laughs> I was wondering where you're going. <laughs> You can call me Will, Will, uh, Wilson's kind of been used for a ball name. I like the idea of the washer yeah. and dryer. The washer and dryer are definitely an older married couple Ooh, who hate yeah. each other. And, and Which and, one's more important? The washer. Oh, so the washer's the woman. Yeah. 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 More important. Yeah, and Let's appreciate it because people are so happy when they take their clothes out of the dryer and, you know. Okay, so then where does the like well, dryer sheet dryer sheet come in? The... So what is what does the washer's voice sound like? Hold on, um, I'm, I want to dive into this conversation of why a woman's a washer. Is it because bitches be getting wet? No, it's because they don't get enough appreciation. That's why. Let's do that. It's because some of no 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 wait 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 no. It's because some of them are coin operated. <laughs> Well, dry. the dryer would be. You that's, wouldn't have a coin. That's the same fucking dryer. thing. <laughs> Not a dryer. Because they're wet. Because they get. Because they get wet. Because nobody wants yeah. to use the ones that are all in puff. Come on, man. Because they get wet. <laughs> but do we think you know the wash? Because you can you can air dry something over time. But I I don't think. Really see here's the dryer. See I also think though that there's the hot new couple who is the washer dryer who's on top of each other. And that's the sexy younger couple, the side by side unit that are not connected, but yeah. look connected. That's right. your old couple. That's so, about to be okay, divorced. Yeah. So, they'd get, right, they'd, so they'd, they would replace so they, the washer with the new washer. So yes. the, the wash. All right. So, but okay. the dryer so is this, always looking at these new washer models wait, and, and the other okay. washer is like, what the, the hell? New one, the new one. That's a column. Yeah. Yeah. They also have embraced AI. Right, yeah. the old school dryer left next to each other. You won't let it go. They, they do not like AI. So That's I feel like the the stacked washer and dryer. They're probably poly. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's Barbara. Yeah, I Barbara think they're hot and, and young. I think they're young and hot. I think. Yes, I think. But I'm saying their their sexuality is wide open. They're open to anything. Sometimes he's top. Sometimes she's top. You All know I know is Edith. I need a place to put my vent, or I'll be very upset. I will burn this house to the ground if I don't get a place to smoke. <laughs> and so how do they feel about the owner? Where am I supposed to? Where I wanted. How do, they, how do they feel about the house owner? Like the house. I think the washer the hates the owner and the dryer loves the owner. My trap is itching my. <laughs> so I think, ooh, so the thanks for these the warm owner, but... clothes. And I'm always like, ah, God, washer, well, the dryer... these clothes are sopping wet. I got to get them in the dryer before I can use them. Ah, disgusting. As as you can. Yeah, and Harry. you don't want them. You got to do it fast or else they're going to pick up some type of smell, some mm-hmm. musty okay. smell. Always hear that. Episode. But I'll leave shit in the dryer. 
because he's my boy. <laughs> yeah, and then you just do a quick little, you know, 10-minute tumble, just get out the wrinkles. Yeah, you can also go like, dryer, I got a big meeting. I need you to work on these clothes. And your dryer's like, I got you, fam. Five minutes. Let's go. Okay, so then the dryer sheets. The dryer meanwhile, sheets the, meanwhile is, the washer is pregnant with other things. Mad at you for hanging with your boy instead of drying these perfectly good clothes that are in my tummy. All right, so let's go micro. What are the personalities of the detergent Microwave? and the dryer sheets? The detergent and the dryer sheets. Uh, are those just like, uh, like, uh, the, What's the word like deodorant? You don't use you don't use any. Of <laughs> <laughs> you don't use detergent. Or Just take sheets. my clothes out to the river. <laughs> what about Tide Pods? Take me to the river. Ooh. Uh, I think the, mic- the microwave would be a stoner. Like, yeah, but it's constantly uh, mic'd up. It, it, it's when you open it, it, it it's like, oh, dude. Is this, putting me now. is his and first name yeah. Mike and his last name is Real Wave? <laughs> That's pretty clever. That did AI so like, come up? Did you I don't know what I I just is that an AI you know, thing? Mike <laughs> Real Wave. That's, no, it's because it's a microwave. It's called a microwave. And uh, uh, Mike is in the name, is in the word already. Yeah. Uh, how does how does microwave Matt. feel about air fryer? Hey man, the ladies call me macrowave, right? Right. Baker. So who are the ladies in this in this uh, analogy? Like, is it an air fryer? Is an air fryer a lady, and they have a crush on each other, or do they hate each other? The lady's the toaster. Ah. Because oh. you put your Slots. bread in it. Slots. Lots. And and the toast toaster's usually in the middle, right? It's usually Lots. got two holes. You put the toast, you put the, you got the air fryer, you got the toaster, you got the microwave. Mm, what about oh, you should, we should name the microwave Bridget? Mike. Her name could be Brenda. Luke, I like what you did there. Yeah, I, that was me. I oh, maybe the, maybe yeah. maybe the fridge and the freezer are a happily married couple. Because yes. they're cool. Because they're, they're cool. cool. They're a cool couple. You go to them when you want to, like, cool off. But the wife, like, the wife, sometimes she can be a little cold because yeah, she's the freezer. She's a frigid bitch. Oh. Anyways. Yes. That would be a great name for a fucking... Frigid uh, bitch. Compa- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terry had... Uh, a- Terry, we... we- Terry had an idea for a, what was it? Animals of different nationalities. We essentially did this before. Animals of nationalities. Yeah, remember the foreign exchange students, the panda. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, yeah, my, yeah. my, my, my short story that went nowhere because the teacher was an asshole. Son of a bitch. Terry, uh, why is there why is there a fifth box again? It's so you guys don't have to look at the super source. Okay. I like. Is it distracting? Rob me. No. Oh. Um, all right, I have one more question. Wait. Uh, feel- how do you guys think? Um, I've been thinking about so much about Kendrick Lamar and Drake. It's honestly has like taken over my half of my day's thoughts. Yeah. Um, Can I ask a question? I work with. Yeah. We actually have an opportunity here because I have zero idea what is happening. I just know there is a beef between Kendrick and Drake. Where did it start and what oh, is boy. it? It's over. Uh, we don't have enough time. Drake's dead. That's all you need to know. He died? Drake died. Uh, he, he lost. Um, he's, on, and he's on to new things now. He basically he, like. Admitted that it's over. I'll just, I'll, I'll make it quick. Let's see how quick I can make it. Luke, do you think I can make this quick? All right, uh, let's put 30 I mean, seconds I'll, on the clock. I'll try. 30 in. seconds? Give me, give me one minute. One minute. I'll give you 60 seconds. I'll time it. Ready? Two 30 seconds. Mm hmm. Set? Go. <laughs> and the time is up. Okay, Cole, you've spun You're waiting it up. for 6.30 to hit? Yeah. 
the time. Just fucking get, pull out your phone and start a Eddie? timer. So I'll start with. Uh, I don't want to close. I bet he doesn't even have an actual with, clock. I bet he doesn't have an actual clock. All, I I wanted you to put me on the spot. Now I have it all planned out. I'm going to do it. Do better. You should do better. Kendrick Lamar was born in Compton, Eddie? USA. Guys, you never know when the minutes gonna change. Could be now, could be fucking in and out. What are you even looking at? I bet there's nothing he's there. He's waiting for the. He's waiting for it to change. Oh, he's looking at the top corner of 30. his computer. Yeah, instead of <laughs> go, no. no, go. Okay, um, so it started with "Like That." This was a song that Kendrick Lamar was featured on on Future and Retro Boomin's album, and he goes in on Drake essentially, and a little bit J Cole. Uh, because they had a song was, prior. Do, are, do I get 60 seconds or what? Well, directly you missed first-person shooter mode. You missed first-person shooter. That's what I was going to say. Directly responding to a song that they made together called First Person Shooter. Okay? And then Drake responds about, a, you know, five, six days later. Right? Uh, Kendrick doesn't respond for at least 24 hours. Drake drops another one. It's an, Speaking of AI, an AI. Drake, Drake calls him a pre squeak. And says that he's a size that, seven. That shit. was in the song before what I'm talking about. So yeah, yeah. the Drake's second diss about 24 hours later is he uses AI technology Time to up. make his voice. I like this bit. Oh, I like there. this as a bit though. I like the idea of like someone explains rap something to me. And in like you you, you guys should have all bet. It's you know that I'm not gonna be able to explain. That I'm gonna grant you. I'm gonna grant you another minute. thirty seconds. Uh, where Luke go? All right, another thirty seconds. So he. Um, <laughs> can Luke I start Luke. now? Uh, well, fuck. Luke he, wasn't so supposed to do that. AI, <laughs> he uses AI on one verse. He he makes his voice sound like Tupac talking to Kendrick. On the second verse, he makes his voice sound like Snoop Dogg talking to Kendrick. On the but third you verse, explain that Tupac is this man's hero, and then he's his hero. And Snoop Dogg is also Tupac another hero. And they're both telling Kendrick, they're both saying to Kendrick, "What are you doing, man? Like, where are you at? You got to fucking do something." So Kendrick responds a few days later, and he drops a bomb called Euphoria, and he just goes at Drake. Right. So it takes Drake now a couple days to respond. You know, ironically, Drake responds with a great song. It's if you listen back, it's one of the best diss songs of all time. It's called Family Matters. It's amazing. Three different, three or four different beats in it. it. Like, I'm telling you, if you fucking listen back, it's amazing. So the thing that overshadowed it, it kind of ruined Drake's moment. Kendrick dropped a song about an hour later, same night. Drake's this was called Family Matters. Kendrick's response was called uh, Meet the Aubreys or Meet the Grams. And that's Drake's last name. Like a family thing, a family thing, a family show title. Yeah. And then the next morning, 6 a.m. the next morning, I, East Coast time. I woke up 6 a.m. the next day and I open up Twitter. Kendrick dropped another song and it was like a victory lap. It was, it's called not like us. And it's the number one record in the country, right? now. It's the number one song in the country. It's it breaking all the records on streaming. It broke a record for billboard. The first ever song to go number one with only five days on the charts, like five days available mm -hmm. to make the charts. Um, so then Drake drops his the last one out of this whole beef. He drops another response. Um, and it's basically, it comes across as a concession speech. It's called uh, The Heart Part Six. Anyway, there's a lot more I could say. There is one song that I'm missing that Kendrick dropped as well, but it's not on streaming. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, Kendrick, Kendrick, you know, he got the consensus win. He's he's up. So anyway, that's not the question that I wanted to ask. That was four I minutes. Want... Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure Luke's totally okay. overestimated myself. I, my question, yeah, my question really, was, I feel like you missed I'll ask you, you the real I'll important ask, here. That was yeah, more because because I was I was trying to make it fast. Mm, um, 
So my question was going to be, how would a country, how would two country artists diss each other? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great how question. would they do it? So, great you know, fucking I, question. I, I want to bring to everyone's attention that there is a, one of our squares currently says unknown. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I think Luke was somehow replaced because on our little. Uh, hello? Hello, who's this? Can you guys hear me? Who's this? Hello. Yeah. Hey, boy. What the Hi, what hello, is... boys. Hi, boys. Who what is this? That voice, bro? Is that AI? No, it's unknown. There's a, there's a, there's something in here called unknown right now. I don't know what it is. Am I in? Am I in? Am I here? Yep. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Can you identify yourself? Well, hello, boys. <laughs> How are you? It's a delight to be here. Is this Rip Torn? Uh, well, well, how did you know? <laughs> yes, it's me, Rip Torn. Are you, wait, are you back from the dead? Did Rip Torn well, die? Yeah. Did Rip Torn I'm actually, die? I'm actually not dead. You guys what? don't know this. It's a little known fact, but <laughs> I am actually a part of an organization called the Men in Black. And oh, wow, it's real. In the Men in Black, you have to pretend that you are dead. You become anonymous to society. So that's what I did. I faked my own death, and I am part of the Men in Black. It's a real thing, guys. I swear to fucking God. I swear <laughs> to God. Oops. <laughs> I swear. I swear, I swear to God. <laughs> Riff, it doesn't really... You can curse on this podcast, but whole oh, wow. Whoa. It's Whoa. such a delight to be here. Why did you decide to... Because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the show. <laughs> and one of the and one of the, the the viewers. And uh what I just you know I wanted I wanted to call and uh just say hi to my guys. And one big thing though, I came to recruit one handsome gentleman to the men in black and the MIB. Because we lost a, a we lost a member recently. Rip, Rip what is it again? Can you can you repeat with the men in what? The men in black. <laughs> oh. The MIB. Okay, I like the I way you say like that. I also like to say, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rip, rip uh, torn. Um, you wow. recently had to replace a member? Is that what you said? Yes. We had to kick out Will Smith because <laughs> he just, he, uh, he loves attention. Him and his stupid wife and his stupid family. So we said, you got to get out. But, Will, but was Will Smith in the Men in Black or was it his character? Like, No, what? I'm telling you, it's a real thing and he was a part of it. So I I came to recruit one of you. So he doesn't have one. to fake his death? No, nope, he's dead to me anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Rip. How do we, uh, it's got to be one he's of us. Dead. How do we, uh, how do we do this? And we have to be, they have to be handsome. Well, yeah. you have to be handsome because we don't really show movie. it in the movies. We don't show it in the movies, but uh, there's always a damsel in distress. We show that. But what Is this why Michael guys, Jackson, Michael Jackson wasn't accepted? No, you're ignorant. Yeah, we could. No, he, we could. he, he really wanted to be accepted. No, and they, and no, him. that's he just ignorant. That's ignorant. No, he, he, he didn't. He didn't want to have sex with any of the damsels in distress. He was a fuck boy, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, we need someone to have sex with the women. <laughs> so, so who's okay? I, I have a taker. We have a taker. So we'll do it. Only one of us is single, Rip. <laughs> Although I guess if you join the Men in Black. Yes, you can. You're doing it for your country, or your planet, really. Maybe your, your, your planet, and even your whole solar system. Well, I have a question. But, uh, maybe, this, maybe this can be a stipulation that might I might okay. be able to throw my hat in the ring. If I you throw your shirt in the there, garbage, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good. That would be a good start. Actually, you know what? Let's talk about that. Is is can we have shiny shirts or should they be more uh matte? Yeah, if you're looking if you're looking for shiny shirted fellas, we got one for you. Wait a second, I'll be right back. You're just a shiny fella. 
in general. Well, little is known, we've updated our our uh, attire, and it's shiny shirts. So <laughs> Cole's he's on the right track. I'm, I'm wearing the shiniest. It's so shiny. My shirt. I wish you guys could see it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I actually really don't have any agenda here. I just wanted to. I thought you were recruiting us. That's pretty agenda worthy. I yeah. want to be on the team. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Maybe is it worth we have it? to. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? If you're strong it? enough. Thank you, Terry. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. If you're strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is yeah, that's worth movies? it. I don't know. It's become a pretty popular meme. If you're strong enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, NYPD, knock your punk ass down. Whoa. So much gayer somehow. <laughs> I'm a man in black. I like the green one way better. How do you? Wait. Oh, I thought the last one was black. No. It was they both green. looked black. They both definitely <laughs> looked black. <laughs> that is that that's not the first time that's ever been said. Yeah, you racist rip torn. How dare you? Well, Kendrick oh, Drake. Rip, to- rip torn is definitely racist. Rip torn is what you should do to that fucking shirt. <laughs> you get one more. You get one more, Zach. Uh, and then I'm going in. I, but I think both of them are pretty good though. Those two were good. Those are you ever see um it's like long- shirts. Do you look like do you look like uh, ben Stiller in Along Came Polly when he learns how to salsa dance, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I'm, I'm gay. That yeah. movie has the best Pratt fall ever by Philip so Seymour Hoffman when he's walking in. Yo, this is actually... this That plays into one of my <laughs> questions. He's incredible. Guys, I'm having so much fun here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Luke? Oh, yeah, Rip Torn. Oh, yeah, what happened to Luke? Uh, Luke Do you think yeah, Rip Torn? Hey, Rip, Rip, is your middle name Shred? Mm. Rip Shredded. I'm shredded. I was, I, <laughs> underneath the soup, you must be shredded. I don't and, think you uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that was my middle name. I get it. I get it. Rip Luke. Shred Torn. The- uh, maybe we'll get Luke back. <laughs> The, Wait, ga- uh, the, the galaxy's the on Orion's belt. Belt. I love the first. Rip, r- Orion rip before, is the cat. Rip, Rip. Before you leave, do you want to make any other type of meta reference to anything that you're a part of? Because it seems like you only. It seems like you only remember two. It seems like you only remember two projects. Sugar in water. <laughs> Rip, do you remember uh, it? Yeah. What the hell are you doing in my truck? Do you remember, remember Gary Shandling? I was in a little show called the Larry Sanders Show. There you and go. I always said, hello, darling. Always a delight. And I said that a few times when I came on. I made sure to say that. But that's all I got, boys. So I'm going to get going. But the only way you can get rid of me is to say R.I.P. Rip. And then I vanish into the universe and become anonymous and fight aliens. None of you guys oh, this have was... become recruited because Luke wasn't here and I, w- I came for him, actually. So so uh, you're actually a ghost and this is your unfinished business was to be on our podcast. Yes. And now I can go and meet my maker. Wow. <laughs> R.I.P. Rip. R.I.P. Rip. Daddy wasn't there. Bye, my boy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Legend of the game. Rip. Luke, you missed it. Whoa, dude. We just got inducted into the men in black. Kind of. The men. I'm I'm a man in black. Like Cole's shirt? It was black the whole time, right? You're colorblind too, aren't you? Colorblind, kid. I see it's still shiny. It's still very shiny. Did uh, he make fun of your shirt too? Because, I mean... He should have. So. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I, uh, 
Terry's reading. I had to go. Is that Batman, Terry? Batman yeah. and Catman. It was in his drunk drawer. And they're they're doing it. Drunk drawer. <laughs> they're doing it in what? this. That's oh, really? A, does it arouse you physically? Yes. Uh, definitely. Whoa. Oh, it's Does Christmas. It do it for you. Oh, come on, ye faithful. Joyful everyone, and every, triumphant. Every true Batman fan wants Batman to fuck Catwoman. He yeah. did in the last one. He does in They're this. Doing it. I played this iPhone game. Did you play that, Terry? iPhone game? It was, it was really good. Is it I the Telltale? Telltale series? Yep. Yeah. He I remember that for like PC. At- Whoa! Here's a new Isn't Aquaman. Rip Torn dead? Was he in Aquaman? Rip Torn? Uh, yeah, dead. Luke, you missed Rip Torn, dude. Get over yeah. it. All right. Even, it's not gonna all right. Happen. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm so we brought up we Torn, brought man. up a thing. We brought up a thing, and that thing was Men in Black. So now everyone has to say a quote from Men in Black. I already did. I know you did, and it was good. So everyone has to do one now. Only difference between you and me, I make this look good. Nice. That is good. Does Rip Torn say that? He would probably say, like, only difference. I can't do an impression of him. We're not having an intergalactic kegger. (laughs) Not an intergalactic kegger. Fucking Zed. All right. Well, these are these are our two boys, and Bob. I I got a quote. Is that from Men in Black Two? It's Men in Black Two, lesser known. What's the what's the what does he say when he? I was trying to think of what does he say when he's like, um. And where he well, so it makes me laugh every time. He imitates the other black guy that's like when they're the recruit, the recruits oh. that are in there. Yeah, yeah. We're the best because we're, we're the best of the best. Of the best, best, best. sir. <laughs> he doesn't know why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Will Smith was in his prime then, man. He yeah, fucking nailed it. Well, we were doing. Me and my buddy were doing top five black actors of all time. My top five. Chris Rock. And we could not leave Will Smith out of it. I can <laughs> easily. What? No, oh, man. I am legend. Four better actors all time than Will no. Smith. Yeah. Denzel, Denzel. Sidney Poitier. Okay. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. Absolutely. Forrest Whitaker is a better actor than Will Smith. Or, well, one of them I has guess. made me cry and one of them is not. I believe Forrest Smith, Whitaker. I, you didn't cry and I am legend. No, I would have cried if they, I would have cried if they didn't put Bob Marley on at the end and they kept it the original. Pursuit Come of on, happiness. Man. Pursuit of happiness. Oh man, is that that's not his acting man. making you cry? What? Yeah, it's on the street. Hater. We, we got finally hater. Wesley right. Snipes in the movie Wesley Blade is back. Ba- no way. No <laughs> Could way. you imagine a world I mean, where Will you- Smith was Blade though? That'd be cool. Yeah. I way, to dodge, way to dodge that shit like the Matrix. I'm not I dodging. Know where Will Smith was the Matrix was the one. He was offered the Matrix. Freeman. He turned it down. Freeman. He didn't understand it. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. Done. Oh yeah. That's yeah. four. Yeah. And then Will Smith. What? Will Smith. Who are you, who are Tom your Cruise. top five? That's Tom my Cruise. my top five is Sidney Poitier, Denzel, Will Smith, um, Ryan Morgan Gosling. Freeman. Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox uh, is close, Mar- but I would put Morgan Freeman and no, I'd put Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, Jamie nah. Fox though, uh, nah. Lawrence Fish- Lawrence nah, Fishburne. Nah. Nah. I know, I know that sounds weird, but I, I nah, Lawrence Fishburne. I wouldn't put Fishburne over Will Smith though. I'm trying to make a team out. without Will Smith. Dude, Will Smith is so much better than Lawrence Fishburne. Play fucking a fellow. Uh, I don't know. See, see, I don't see Will Smith's top five. What but there's not a Will. There's not a Will Smith Dave. movie that that's like name? Boys in the Hood. There's not a Will Smith film that's like at that level. Granted, uh, I did not see King Richard, so I don't know if that was deserved. He fucking murders it. Oh so, wait, Eddie Murphy. Did we say Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy's da- he's up there, man. Eddie Dave. Murphy. I mean, Eddie Murphy that's in the clumps. Acting. 
Eddie Murphy in the clumps though. That's some of the hardest acting. It's hard. He was acting off himself, man. And he was yeah. donkey. Donkey also, rules. Donkey made me cry. Come on, Come on guys. What are we doing? We're Eddie saying Murphy's that Will Smith down. is not in the top five. He's the black Leo. He, what are we doing? Movie star. No, he's the black Tom Cruise. He's the black Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Leo. Yeah, he's a box. He make he make box office. He's not the black hits. Leo. The black Leo would be like uh, Mahershala Ali. No, Mahershala Ali is a way better fucking actor and hasn't done any. He's not that big. He's be, so can he? He's be better than five? Will Smith though at Mahershala, at the craft of yeah, he's acting. He's a better actor. He's a better actor than Will Smith. Wait till Blade comes out. Then maybe he'll get in that Will Smith level. He he could easily get there. He already he's has two the- Oscars. I mean, he's he's just like chilling. He can do whatever he wants. You know. Yeah, he, he, the only reason they made Blade is because he called close. Kevin Feige and said, I want to do it. Like, yeah. they, there was no plan to make Blade. And, yeah, Mar- and they, Marshall they've rewritten Ali it like called three him. times for him. That's yeah. how he's a fucking yeah. G. They fired like two directors. That's just going to be crazy. I hope so. I've been it watching better be. the, it better be. the Matt Reeves, Planet of the Apes. Man, those are. Oh, so my cool. God, dude. Those are so good. War of the Planet of the Apes, man. Those monkeys make me emotional. Yeah, dude, yo, you know if hold I on. cry, don't I, I cry? <laughs> if don't, don't, <laughs> don't you dare! Listen, don't. listen, yo, I saw I'm putting Caesar it, in my top five. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? The guy that played Gollum, the guy Andy Circus, a famously Andy white Circus. guy. Andy but Circus. Matt, but Matt Reeves, that director, Andy man, top like, five black actor of all time. Is who? And stop. So, I got a question for you guys because <laughs> that that tri- that trilogy. No. So the the window, the window. Yeah. Yeah. You know, do right. you think I was talking with somebody the other day that I got Don't into? Do it, Don't go there, Cole. Illuminati. Illuminati. Don't go no. there. No. I miss James Franco. Fine. Let me go. Let me go. The Franco one's the worst one by far. Yeah, of course, it's, but it's, because okay. that one wasn't Matt Reeves. I'm so bummed yes, that was. this one's not Matt Reeves. No, only only the the back two were Matt Reeves. Yeah. The first one's oh, not really? Matt Reeves. Yeah. And you can so tell that messes up my that tell. messes up my thing. Then okay, so then but my question was going to be that window, it becomes the symbol for them. Like it's like the cross. Yeah, you know, for them, yeah. who whose idea do you think that was? How early or later on in the process do you think that happened these are the type of things that i think about when i'm watching a trilogy like that and i know that they use it in the new one i still haven't gone and seen it i i have to go see it but do they so well the new one simple. the new one is is very interesting i haven't seen it but it's it, it's the idea is that it is hundreds years of season. years after they caesar still talk about it's 300 years they still so the talk idea about is caesar. like they still use the window mm-hmm. as their symbol yeah, the idea is it's like it's, a cross. Yeah, it's a like metaphor Christ. for religion. It's a metaphor yeah. for like it's you great. know people great. abusing religion and saying yeah, this is what story. Christ yeah. or in this case Caesar would have wanted. But never no one is alive. The teachings of Caesar and you know, do you all but maybe, you know, the, maybe it could also just be that you know, one big orangutan wrote whatever the fuck he wanted. So you know, my, you know, my query sure to, part to you guys, of the, script, the first film. It was okay. Planned. So that's what you think? Because I don't he think it was. In the attic. It was through his viewing point. Right. But it didn't come in to play until, I mean, it was in the first movie, you know, when he was in the little, the monkey prison there and yeah. he drew it himself. But Dude, then in the Matt Reeves. No. Movie, <laughs> that be, yeah, no. that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. And oh it's the kid God. from Harry all Potter. Those, all those movies are perfect. He's like, get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. The little the kid. One, yeah. The last one's so good. It's intense. They're so Shakespearean Ugh. too. Like the drama that's happening in the second one. The parallel between the oh. wild card friends and Koba. Caesar Koba. is home. And then when he sees in the third one when Woody Harrelson murders his kid and his wife and he's just fucking out for blood. And you know All right, I got a, I got a crazy wild comparison. Steve Zahn murders it is the bad ape. Christian like, Bale's that's right. Batman or Andy Serkis's Caesar which is a better performance. He was in a fight? Oh, wait, performance Andy Serkis. 
Just if we're yeah. talking just like what it took to do that. I mean, again, yeah. he had to Work. first he had to do everything with his body. And then his body was yeah, mapped. People don't into realize the CGI. that they did all of the Yeah. yeah. That you know, was, and, that's and, me being that's me being it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You know, fuck where boy. what hold on, where where'd Cole go? All of a sudden yeah, I just saw like a CGI ape. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, man. <laughs> you just you look just like you don't even need makeup or CGI. Wow. Those movies Whoa. are I was so disappointed that Matt Reeves didn't direct the new one. Yeah, but one. why would you? He landed the trilogy, you know, perfectly and was I, able to walk done, off. Who's what director has done more than three, you know, like for real in a franchise? What uh besides? Steven Spielberg did uh, four Indiana Joneses. So Spielberg and George Lucas. Uh, no, not George Lucas. George Lucas directed the first. He did three, and then he did the uh, episode one. No, he did not direct uh, Empire. He did not direct Return of the Jedi. What? Irving Kirshner did. Not Irving Kirshner. Uh, no, maybe Irving Kirshner. Yeah, he was not the director. He, he, he created the story and was the producer. Did you guys know that, Luke, Zach? Uh, if you had asked me, I would have guessed that he directed the original. I don't know any of this. I think you guys talk. But yeah, all I, I heard that does something make... about Chris Christopher Reeves. That's all I'm getting from this. Superman. Matt, Christopher Reeves. Matt Reeves. Oh, did, I think but did Lucas? He did. He wrote the first Indiana Jones, or just produced story. No, he he he's, he. It's all his idea, and it was all story by him, but. He had someone else write the script, and then he had other directors step in. But, like, all of it comes from him. You know, it's like he wrote the Bible, and then yeah. people adapt yeah. to the aren't Bible. There, aren't, there rumored, aren't there other rumored uh, movies that George Lucas, he's just so fed up with the whole industry that he just, like, he has movies, but he just doesn't show them to anyone. So he... uh Yes, that is true. But also, he had his own treatment for episodes seven, eight, and nine. Then Disney didn't take it. So what? What Disney created I'm not even was not about his. Star Wars. I'm talking about like other shit. Like, yeah, I mean, his whole thing is he, he wanted like to start. He wanted actors. to make these giant movies so that he could go back to making these little films and whatnot. But he just became so hyper successful because remember, every movie that has audio is Skywalker sound. It's all done yeah. at. Skywalker Ranch, you know, so he's just so he became this titan. And all he keeps saying is, I want to just go back and make short films, but I don't I don't know that well, he's actually it, done it. The, but he invented you know, Avid. Steve jo well, Steve Jobs, you know, uh Steve Jobs. When Pixar, you know, Pixar was a thing, didn't they hire George Lucas's like sound? Yeah, Skywalker Sound did all of it. Is that what, that's what it's called? Skywalker's out. And he also, and he also, the actual like creation of Pixar was George Lucas was involved in like, because the yeah. like avid editors, that was also him. Avid. Yeah. Yeah. And it is funny because I do like watch a lot of movies and hear like the, the sound effects sound very much like a Star Wars film, but it's like not, it might be like sort of in the same, not universe, but like, yeah. Or like even like uh, spaceships flying or something like that, or just well, there's there's fire. a very there's a very so famous. Like, you ever screen. heard of a lightsaber? You know what a lightsaber yeah. sounds like? Do you guys know about the Wilhelm scream? Everybody knows about the Wilhelm scream. No, but I know the song ah! by Gene Blake. And Do you? Bon Do you actually know bon Zach? Bear. Yeah, of course. Okay, what is it? Uh, I don't know who the first one was, but it's. Yeah! What, how does it sound? It's the stock screen. Uh, that the but it's originally from, I forget what the original thing was that they used it in. What they used it? the same Jerry. stock screen. It's a stock sound. It's yeah, Star it's Wars. Guy, what? It's from Star Wars. <laughs> in everything. It's from Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first one. It's the Wilhelm scream because the guy's name so is Wilhelm. It's in and he goes, your, ah! like, if, if you... <laughs> If you use like iMovie and shit, like is it in your stock sounds? Yep, yeah. it's in most programs and whatnot, and and you'll you'll know when you hear it. But when people put it in their movie, it's they're doing a throwback. 
It's from yeah, Star Wars. It's just like I thought the, it was you, older you than hear that. the same door opening. It, well, it is. It was recorded same. earlier, but it was made popular in Star Wars. Because like, that was the yeah, first time they like pulled it old. out of the library because it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I never knew that. Thank you, Terry, yep. because there's a song that I love to death. It's one of my top 50 songs Good by song. James James Blake and Bon Iver. It's called Wilhelm Scream. It's a beautiful song. And I never knew why they called it that. Yeah. Did you see Andy Serkis is directing uh, Gollum films? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and Peter Jackson is back on for one more Lord of the Rings movie. But they got, the, they got the they got the same writers. It is. is it the Sumerian? Well, the Sumerian? Uh, can I can I, I don't know. say something, guys? Are you gonna are you gonna crucify you're gonna crucify me for this? Not any more than I'm gonna crucify that fucking t shirt. That's not Go a t shirt, it's got a collar. I, Once I sell that I'll, shit, I'll, I'll, I'll take it all. I'll take it all. Take it all. Yeah. Because you know, because I'm like I'm like Black Panther's suit of armor. I absorb it and then I can fucking use it against you. Yeah, but do you? You're like a mirror. You're like a black mirror. <laughs> Whoa, dude! If I'm like an iPhone. Make Terry cry. I'm like an iPhone. Um, I've never seen any Wait. Lord of the Rings. Should we? Should we uh, all wear? You are missing uh, out. That's, Luke. Have you ever seen any Lord of the Rings movies? I have, but not in like order, and I don't think I've seen all of them. I just have. That's not one of the. things. It's just that not I, something that I we can't. Just, we didn't. Uh, yeah, but it's it's like what uh, most stories are built on the bones of. I read, it. Like it's the I read perfect the Hobbit. fantasy movie. The I read. I read The Hobbit when I was in like mm-hmm. sixth or seventh grade. It's my favorite book. Yep. And it, for no reason, I just decided to read it. Famously written yeah. after. Oh, the no, Hobbit I... movies suck. The first Hobbit movie is good, and then the other two were pretty trash. The book's fantastic. I haven't seen. I have not seen. Well, a I mean, that movie sucks movie. because it shouldn't have been a trilogy. I, it never should have been Harry one movie. Potter. I've never. Luke, have you In ever the... seen any Harry Potter? CGI is yeah. atrocious. Yeah. I just recently read all of the Harry Potters. I did it on Audible, and I really enjoyed it. I read like half of the first one when I was a at kid. all. You didn't read them. No, no, no. I, I did it on Audible. Okay. Which oh. is more fun? AI read them. Wait, did, I got how, one, how how it was one, a guy. How does one get into reading Audible, like being the voice? You know, you can, there's websites you can post your voice, and they'll give you sample things, and they'll pay you. I think they, all of us. Let's do that. Zach. Let's try that. Yeah, Anyone this is. Zach. Yo, you this a is a great. Hey, Thank wait, you. listen. Let's all of us apply to be the voice for audiobooks. I love and it. like document this for the podcast. So you can become an audible book. Yeah. Why love not? It. I might love turn it. into something really good. That's so cool. That beats my pitch. I was gonna pitch that we all kill ourselves uh, and live stream it. And that would That's, be like. I, that's the worst Very pit. unique podcast because who else? Nobody else has killed themselves live on a podcast. Damn, that was and my we're demonetized. You have to say like unalive. What? You can't I say sh- kill yourself? Nope. No, you can't say me? kill. I can say I want to do whatever the fuck I want to me. No, right, not so on YouTube. Should, should, I, should I pitch that's that again? Should I, should I say it again? Because I think that's a really good idea. I really do. Which one? Mine? No, Audible. Yeah. No, let's think, uh, let's figure I, I out really, I, figure out how we can get into that. And there's a website. All of us, okay, then you find it and send it to all of Wait, us. Everyone, but you, it well, can't be your it can't be your regular voice. It's whatever. Well, your of course, it can't be your regular voice, Sarah. Because you characters, you do characters, you do voices. Well, yeah, but well, you are. Not- Character. What if I I get in, in this voice? You nah, gotta just do your like, most melodic, nice, enjoyable voice. But you also be, have to be able to know how to read. So um, that, yeah, yeah, do, that leaves do we have one of us out. To... Luke, I'm you sorry. Us out. Terry, why don't you read something for us? Let's uh-huh. close our eyes and let's listen. You were never yeah. taught how to read. Yeah, you no. love you too. Status. We got six snipers on the roof, seven across the street, ten Bearcat ATVs deployed at every exit, four birds, five drones in the air. 
56 SWAT personnel on site are scattered and around the building. Na- Gotham National Guard are on call at the bottom of the hill. Thank you. We got a shot. Is this a 40s Batman? I'm the, I'm the sound the, effect. No, that's how the Kappas I'm talk. In the 40s? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. There's nothing in this to say whether it's future or not. Move, move, move. Is there anything to say it was fucking 80 years ago? She's sucking my dick. She's sucking Whoa. my dick. Whoa. Oh, my God. This is actually fucking awesome. We got a guy getting his dick sucked over fucking, here. Robin. No, no, no. Awesome. The, the, Robin is the. Dick. Whoa. Thank you. Anything Whoa. else? No, it's all good. It's just not enough. Oh, dick. What a pleasant surprise. I apologize. I did not think I'd see you again so soon. I would have had a meal voice? waiting. Yeah. Wait up! What the fuck? Are we in the future in this book? I mean, that would be a great way to read a book. You're going right now? No, 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 no. no. That's how I'm going to read the book is I'm going to interrupt and explain. Whoa! Did you guys hear that at home? Selena Kyle is in this book as an older lady. Can you believe it? That that once in a while that there should be two different versions of every like audio book like. Uh, one with, one yeah, let's with find out guy. more. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that was one of my pitches. Selena I, Kyle. Uh, the podcast is called Terry Reads to the Boys. And you <laughs> That's a great pitch. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he told That's me it way. was to make the Joker laugh. He thought if the Joker saw he has nothing, as a silly yellow joke, he might kill you. So this is the guy from the Andy Griffith show. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, Don Knotts? Yeah. (laughs) What's worse than biting it into an apple and finding a worm? It's an old one. Uh, I'm going into Jimmy Stewart a little bit. But I love Rusty. You want want the moon? What do you want? Moon? I'll get you the moon. I'll give you the moon. It's a very interesting predicament. Where's the money? Where's the goddamn money? Where's my money? Back to John Mulaney. He did it. You remember what? You remember when he's talking to the banker hey, at yo, the end of the just, movie? You just turned three what? impressions. What? Wait, can I do my impression of John Mulaney? John Mulaney's definitely got some. John of that Mulaney. This is my impression. I was coke skinny. That's it. So. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. John Mulaney is Catholic. Like, I think what well, all of us were raised Catholic. Uh, yeah, I just this, I just saw, but that. he's a, chi- he's a Chicago boy. Can't read it out loud. Oscar Isaac to voice Jesus Christ. Ha! Oscar Isaac what? to voice Jesus Christ in a, in a, in a faith based animated movie. <laughs> that's fucking that's outstanding. <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, Oscar uh, Isaac. Uh, uh, Look at Batman. John Mulaney. No, I, I can only do that micro impression. I do Is the that? Car. I can only yeah. do him doing, oh, hello. I can try to explain what why John Mulaney came up with that voice. Because he's a stand-up comedian. He doesn't talk the way that he naturally would have talked, you know, based off of his upbringing, his mom, his dad. Here's the thing. He, he talks like... Old school... He's got Wait, Jewish, like a Jewish, like he kind of wanted to be, he was around a lot of Jewish people, you know, and as I'm explaining this, I, I'm talking more like John Mulaney, I'm realizing. He like, you know, he's around a lot of Jewish comedians. And he early on didn't know that he was going to be a comedian. This has nothing to do with him being around a lot of Jewish comedians before he became a, b- developed his voice. But early on, this has a lot to do with it. He definitely subconsciously decided that he was going to be a comedian, right? Before even knowing what it was. And I'm sure when he's in conversation with people, He's projecting his voice like he's like on stage, like when he was, you know, not a kid, but 10 to 12. And then in high school, in high school, he especially was probably like perceived as a weird guy like Terry was. (laughs) (laughs) How? (laughs) 
Well, well, well that's because I was in math class talking like this. Well, 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 yeah. well, well, how do you how do you how do you multiply a polynomial? And I don't then, get uh, it, Teach. Yep. So then he went to college, and then uh, Terry hung around a lot of Jewish comedians. I did. <laughs> Love well, roast beef. <laughs> All right. Well, the reason I the only reason I was perceived as weird is because I wore <laughs> shiny shirts all the time, and that started today, actually. Um, what? I'm are you? Uh, so when? What time is your bowling uh, appointment or your bowling meeting? My bowling appointment. Your bowling meeting. Bowling no, he's a, he's going to do stand up comedy in the nineties. Yep, I'm f- I'm opening up for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> That'd been awesome. I'm just hoping that I do a set well enough because the ver the red version of this shirt was like three times the price. I just can't I can't swing it right now. So I'm hoping my opening set is good enough that you know Eddie will have me again and I can afford the red version. I like and, the green. And, you like the green one? Well, then well, maybe I'll talk. To, maybe I'll talk to Ryan Reynolds about becoming the Green Lantern. There you go. I'm excited to see that movie. What, what movie? What times your bowling uh, get together? Your bowling. Uh, you still on that? Yeah. Kid's uh, got one joke and he just sticks to it until it works. <laughs> yeah. Are what you guys good at that? bowling? Sometimes you guys you rehearsal for your jazz band. No, because Zach, you get one more. You only get one more. You had two great ones. Two great ones. They were good. They were really good. Really good, man. <laughs> Luke's really good at bowling. You're really good at bowling. Are you guys good at uh, because... You know what I'm, I did yesterday? I had a wa- an interesting day. I shot a 88. It was, I think, first time I've ever broke 90 playing golf. It's the best round of golf I've ever played in my life. And I fucking was so nervous on the last hole. I triple bogeyed the last hole. So I should have shot a fucking 85. Wow, that's really good, though. Yeah. And then I found out the restaurant that I, or bar I work at is closing. It was really, I was oh, all over the place. Is it, is it okay. your fault? I think it's because I shot an 88 and they were like, you deserve better. Yeah. Did you see what Cat Williams Shut recently said about golfing? My shot game is yeah. in that. <laughs> no, yo, <laughs> like Cat, Cat Williams. I watched his new stand-up. It's was it funny? Did, like, no, it's, it's fine. not that good. Like, I, I missed all the new Netflix things. I didn't see the roast. I didn't see Mulaney's the roast is excellent. There's one, it's yeah, I, I turned it off. Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony Hedgecliff. Hinchcliffe. Oh, he crushed it. Anyway, but but, but Zach, uh, Zach Cat Williams. Amazing. I'll send it to you. Um, I'll send it to all of us in the group chat. His his new special wasn't that great, in my opinion. Um, I was never the biggest Cat Williams fan. There was one special that I really loved where he came out to the Every Day I'm Hustling. Yes. That, Pimp Chronicles. That bit when he's going to the grocery store and he's like. He's I'm like, just saying, if you're, yeah. if you're working at the McDonald's and you're the only one there and someone orders a number 12 with fries <laughs> and that day. song came on. The best part of that is when he's like, "Get the drink." His acting. Yeah. No, when he says, he "Just grocery the fry shopping. part." The fry part is when he's like, <laughs> "He's got some." Oh yeah, things. the fries. <laughs> I think he's funny. That's great. I funny. I just assumed like all of his like you know craziness of lately, and it was just gonna but be. Why is how that crazy? Joe Rogan. I think he's smart. No, so- I like him. Yes. I like so this is what I'm saying. So this is what I'm saying. Know. That performance he, on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp's on Hinged. He I, seemed, I have read I ten books life. a day for yeah, thirty-seven days. But you know what? I read so a you know what? books a year, Shannon. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay. Come on, it's Captain it's Shannon. on it's on Hinged. <laughs> but but you know what? I watched, I watched the whole thing and I was very happy for him. I should be in your. I just want to start watching Zach play both sides of conversation. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Zach can. Lit. I am terrific around the greens. <laughs> That's a great Cat Williams. That is what yeah, I do, boo-boo. Zach, 
Zach, what, say it again, what you just said. Our short game is immaculate. <laughs> I'm All right, so okay, so then I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what he said, but I'm going to preface what the type of character, you know, and then you can guess. You can just ad lib it from there. So he's talking about how golf, the game of golf, relates to life and how it helps you. You know, so it's is that enough? Can you can you take that as Cat Williams? You the game of golf humbles you. Yeah, there's, there's humility. Every no, I can't. Shut your mouth, you white devil. Oh. <laughs> what you just went through there. You you were at, you you shot an 88, but you on the last hole you were so quietly close your mouth. Use that shirt to cover your face and stop talking. <laughs> yes. Golf. For the white man, I'll give you that. White I'll man can't that. handle 18 holes of golf. Or it is a rigorous endeavor. <laughs> you know, it's a great bit on, all, on Always Sunny when Dennis going, is Keep asked to do the Zach. CCH Pounder impression. Do you know what I'm talking about, Zach? Oh, my yeah. God. No. Is it? All right. I was going to do that. God damn it, Dutch. What kind of errors are you going to have us running for the DA? God yeah. damn it, Dutch. What kind of errors you got us running for the DA? Luke, <laughs> you asked me. To, <laughs> yeah. Luke, you asked me to do an impression of Biden recently when we were in Brooklyn. <laughs> and did you notice how I started it? I went. Well, that's from. That? It's always. Oh, yeah, no. Dennis, he starts it like. Okay. All right. Yeah, I could do that. So I did that, and I thought of I should just do Blazers not Dennis too doing that. God damn it, Dutch. God like, damn it, Dutch. Because you asked me, Cole, can you do a Biden? And I was just going to go. God, God damn it, Dutch. <laughs> what type of errands do you have us running for the DA? What episode but, is that? Is that the, they're on the cruise. Uh, this, yeah. Uh, that's like my that is my favorite show all time all time it's pretty great uh it doesn't get better Mm-mm. it's pretty great recently i did dare i say go Gary fuck yourself like, you couldn't make seinfeld in this day and age and rob mcelhoney was like the fuck are you talking about like, yeah <laughs> well they literally did it they did a they well, did that parody because no, that was I'm a direct out. response to seinfeld yeah, jerry right. seinfeld said you couldn't do it nowadays and rob mcelhoney was like what? Absolutely. The yeah. restaurant. It's the all restaurant about nuance. Episode. It's all about nuance. Well, yeah, and like, and and your audience being built in and faithful. And from Maybe that time, point, they built in that audience. That's what yeah, I mean. But we're all audience, we are that audience. audience. That audience so started twenty years ago. That's a that's a good. I don't point. know how many so, new fans. Yeah, I think I think grandfathered in you don't, you don't start at the latest season and watch it and be like oh these guys are so nuanced oh there's a no. lot of character development like and you yeah if you want to make a successful sitcom and this is literally the reason why Mulaney didn't work his sitcom do you guys remember that yeah he had a sitcom called Mulaney I didn't and it bother was supposed to be the next mind. Seinfeld and they just jumped right in. they actually break down him and Pete Holmes like why it failed and uh yeah I mean, and yeah. Mulaney's like i made every single decision so every single thing on that show that you didn't like was 100 percent my fault <laughs> good for him but i mean if you if you watch if you watch it it is like the camera angles the tone the everything is is way Characters. dated Dude, he did. It, there was a studio audience. Yeah, it was a multicam show. Comedy sitcom. They tried yeah. to make a new Seinfeld, and they just forced it, and it just like, yeah, they went too that, fast. I mean, that, you moved. gotta own that. That's a fucking mistake. Why would you do that? Yeah, we went there for the good time. Shit. Yeah. He, he was think he was thinking he was being was like meta, you know, like oh hello and a bit. But oh, there's a bit. new. You know, he was thinking shit is cyclical. He was thinking like, oh, like this isn't working. Let me try to do this. The same way Seinfeld was thinking, Seinfeld and Larry David at the time for their show. You know, don't forget there was the uh, Gary Shandling show. 
It was yeah. very meta. You know? What a wild statement from Seinfeld, given Larry David's been making his show for the last fucking 20 years. Yeah. What is he talking about? But he's yeah. removed. He, he's just removed from it all. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, granted, he was removed from it all when he was making the show, too. You know, he's never been... I don't think he's ever cared enough to be... He doesn't care. To care about the zeitgeist. That's which is, part of the Which charm. is admirable. I love how... Oh, the, the only thing... Cares about he cares so much about comedy about stand up comedy, yeah. uh, to a fault where like he thinks that his the way the what he thinks is good his taste is the only good way like I listened to him on uh yeah you know uh, on the wall the other day uh, he hates yeah. temporary slang does he say I, that well guess what no he it's he really, says no he said one movie. thing. He said one thing. He said one. He said one thing, or a couple things. You know, one, one thing uh, about. Very well done, Zach. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Rip. <laughs> he says when somebody this says, is "Crazy." When, uh, I have I have a question before they ask a question. He has a problem with that. That's a classic Seinfeld thing. Just ask the question. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask I have the a question. Problem with people who say. Um, um, I, I gotta be honest, because it makes me be like, "Are you just lying the whole other time?" And you yeah. now are being honest with me. Oh, so so then you're like a you're like a woman who's like, when they're like, "Do I look?" You know, or you just say, "You look really good. You look really great tonight." That's what I said oh, in I my washing good. machine. I don't look good all the time. No, that's not it. Just when you have to preface being honest, Call I gotta back. be honest with you. I hate that shit. Or, uh, or, uh, Speaking of women, why don't you give your girlfriend or fucking... Or, or how about this? You, you can't tell anyone this. You can't tell anyone this. No, that's just a, a secret. I got no problem with secrets. No one's secrets. gonna... If you guys tell me anything, my wife is gonna know about it. I just gotta let you know that. That's what? how it works. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Plus well, your cat's a we... snitch. <laughs> Look at him. Just fucking look at him. He's a bitch. No, he's not. That microwave joke wasn't funny. <laughs> Shut up, that Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> That's not Oscar's voice. Oscar's voice is like it's a good generic cat voice. Uh, I got man. I got Oscar's I got Oscar's voice. No, no, no. It's not low. It's like his name's Oscar, of course it is. No, it's not low. It's like Ouchy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He's not a That's street funny. cat. Hey, think yeah, but he might. But he would. He would have been. I said it. If you're from it, the streets of Queens. Hey man, you got any yeah. catnip? Yeah. I was. I was. I was. I'm doing his voice as I'm talking. Don't, I was there the day that he came to Luke's place. I was there. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, "Hey, let me add his a cat there, Mary? box." Let me add his box. Say, I, 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 I'm just a cat. He's, I'm just a furry cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, what do you what do you think his voice sounds like? What do you think? He's like so very scared. So he's like, hey, hey. No, hey, I don't know. I think guys, he's. It's very flighty. <laughs> I, I would stay over. He at makes your hard guys. drinks for hardworking men. Now get out of my bar. I've never seen you before. Martini, oh, don't so, you know me? <laughs> Martini. <laughs> Okay, I accept that one. I think his voice actually is, is Zach's voice. Zach, Zach, you have a very similar oh, voice just to like Zach's regular voice. Yeah, Zach's voice is like a uh, little wily, uh, wily, Michael. like a coyote from from uh, Back to the Future. Zach's got that voice. Michael J. Fox. What? Yeah. Uh, can, can you say that? Doc? Doc. Doc. Yeah, yeah. Are you saying I'm that? <laughs> Doc, I fucked my mom. I'm all mixed up about it. Did you rip that off? <laughs> I know Doc, you can't just him. walk uh, into a store and ask for plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> Did you rip that off? Wait, that's that great, can Terry. You, can you do Jimmy Stewart? Oh, man. Saying that? Can you do Crispin Glover? Uh, yes. Get your damn hands <laughs> off of her. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I stole that from oh Andy Samberg. Terry. Every impression, dude. My destiny. Great Terry, Terry, yo, hey, I gotta say something. 
might be Terry. You might be on the spot. The best impression is might be on the spectrum, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would you say Terry, that? Because Terry has a Terry. Terry on the spot. Terry, will I got go two, two impressions that are pop culture. Uh, can you do? Rip torn. No. <laughs> No, Everyone's no. Doing Rip Torn these days, <laughs> man. Rip Torn. Who's doing that? No, Terry. Doing can that? you do do? Uh, Renaissance. Give Give me Joe Biden. Smokey Joe. Um. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's a little. I'm trying Jimmy to get Stewart. out of it. <laughs> Well, no, I'm stuck on like the way the word. He's way. trying to get the timber. Ah. Uh, like, like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm hanging out with 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 Bozo and Chip and 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 you know we were shooting dice back in the day and 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 and, and, and glitter. It's more. It's too. Jim Carrey uh, did it on working. SNL. How about Trump? Can he do it, Trump? The greatest Trump impression anyone's heard would be coming. Oh, no. yes. mm-hmm. You got it. You got to uh, do. Was good. You got to tell do me what you Trump. want. With very, Trump. very interesting yeah. people. Yes, we can get there if we just yeah. work together, and eventually we'll find a way there. <laughs> Bring <laughs> it in the middle. And we'll, we'll, we got we got a great group guys, of people. You guys are all. You guys are all frozen for me. <laughs> oh, Luke. Did anybody catch I think that? I'm a rat. I can't. Did anybody? <laughs> All I right. saw that. So next week, impressions. <laughs> I feel like we really covered that. I'm just. I'm not good at impressions. And we so. all wear shiny. Shiny shirts. I'm down for shiny shirts. We also all get shitty internet. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I can't. Yes. Shiny. Shiny shirts. Shiny shirts. I'm out, guys. I can't see. Right. You. I know you uh, five times. And the, the next episode, I won't say anything. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful t-shirts. Beautiful t-shirts. So my thing working is wonderful is, people. You do an Adam Sand- Adam Sandler doing a kid. Oh, yeah. What do you want? Do you want? Oh, no, I love roast beef. <laughs> I'm a whore. <laughs> yeah. that, that opening sequence of um, funny people where it's Ben Stiller and Adam Sandler, the old clip, and they're doing the prank phone calls. So, man, it killed Judd me. Judd Apatow. Every... What? Isn't it Apatow and oh, oh, Sandler? Yeah. No, it's Sandler yeah. and Stiller. No, it's Judd Apatow. No, it's... Because they it's, were roommates. It's from their old SNL days. It's a home video of Ben Stiller yeah. and Adam Sandler doing prank phone calls. I Judd Apatow it, may have very well been in the room. But he probably filmed it. It was probably Judd I'll Apatow's camp. Stay on, though. I got to pee really bad. I'll be uh, back. Okay. Sandler's pretending to be an old woman calling the grocery store about eating roast beef. And he's like, my mom, she's vomiting everywhere. Did you give her roast beef? But I love roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. But I it love the me, roast beef. It makes me laugh so <laughs> hard. He's hitting me. <laughs> I saw, I've never watched um, Adam Sandler's um, Jack and Jill where he plays brother and sister. Where? Al Pacino's in that movie. It's considered like one of the worst films. Yeah. Of, like, oh. I'd like to watch it now. <laughs> mm. All right, let's watch it and report back. All right, let's just leave before he gets back. All right, love you. Right. Say it back. Young John!